She left her husband and kids for a new start. Years later, she understands the cost of her choices. The night was quiet, save for the gentle hum of city lights casting a soft glow over the deserted streets. Gabriella Wood sat alone in her opulent penthouse, gazing out at the sprawling cityscape reflected in the vast window before her. In her hand, she held a worn photograph of her family, her husband, Leo, and their two children, Lucy and Owen. The life she once chose to leave behind now felt like a distant memory, and the success she had pursued seemed utterly unfulfilling. Unbeknownst to Gabriella, the true cost of her choices was about to unveil itself in an unforeseen manner. Driven by ambition, Gabriella had always been determined to achieve greatness. Her aspirations for success and personal fulfillment propelled her to rise rapidly in the business world. When a prestigious job opportunity in a bustling city presented itself, she seized it as her chance to validate her efforts. Yet, this decision came with a profound cost. Her husband, Leo, had supported her dreams, even though it meant uprooting their family. They had two young children, Lucy and Owen, who were deeply attached to their home and their parents. Gabriella's departure was met with mixed emotions. Leo was understanding but struggled to hide his disappointment. The kids, too young to fully grasp the situation, clung to the hope that their mother would soon return. Gabriella's new life in the city was a whirlwind of meetings, parties, and high-stakes deals. The excitement of her career quickly consumed her, and she distanced herself from the life she had left behind. Calls home became infrequent, and visits even rarer. The once strong bond with her family began to fray. Years passed, and Gabriella's career flourished. She achieved everything she had set out to, wealth, recognition, and influence. Yet, as her accomplishments grew, so did her loneliness. The once vibrant joy she felt from her achievements began to wane, replaced by an emptiness that no amount of success could fill. One rainy evening, Gabriella received a call from her old friend Hannah. Hannah's voice trembled as she informed Gabriella of Leo's declining health. He had been diagnosed with a serious illness, and the prognosis was grim. Gabriella's heart sank as she heard the news. She hadn't been in touch with Leo or the kids for months, and the guilt of her absence weighed heavily on her. Despite her hectic schedule, Gabriella decided to visit her family. The trip was emotional and painful. The home she had once called her own felt foreign and distant. Leo's condition was worse than she had imagined, and her children had grown into teenagers who were distant and resentful. Gabriella's return was met with a mix of coldness and curiosity. Lucy and Owen had grown up without their mother's presence, and their feelings were complicated. They had developed their own lives, and Gabriella was a stranger in their world. As Gabriella spent time with her family, she tried to bridge the gap that had formed over the years. She learned about the struggles Leo had faced while raising the children alone. The financial and emotional burdens had been immense, and the love and support she had once provided were missed dearly. One evening, as Gabriella and Leo sat alone, he shared his feelings of betrayal and hurt. I always supported your dreams, Jess, he said softly. But in doing so, I lost you. And now, I'm losing my chance to make things right. Gabriella's eyes welled up with tears. She realized the full extent of the cost of her choices. The success she had achieved came at the expense of her family's well-being and her own happiness. The realization was a crushing blow, one that left her questioning the very foundation of her life's decisions. Amidst the emotional turmoil, Gabriella stumbled upon an old box in the attic while helping her children sort through their belongings. The box contained various family mementos, including letters and photographs. Among them was a letter addressed to her from Leo, which she had never received. The letter was heartfelt and spoke of Leo's struggles and his unwavering love for her. It mentioned a hidden box in the backyard, a box that Leo had buried years ago, hoping to reconnect with her through the memories it contained. Gabriella's curiosity was piqued. She decided to search for the hidden box, hoping it might provide some answers or closure. As she dug through the garden, she found the box buried beneath the soil. Inside, she discovered a collection of family photographs, keepsakes, and a final note from Leo. The note revealed Leo's deep regret and his hope that Gabriella would one day understand the true value of family and the sacrifices he had made. It was a poignant reminder of the life she had left behind and the love she had taken for granted. The discovery of the hidden box intensified Gabriella's feelings of remorse. 
She realized that her pursuit of success had blinded her to the importance of family and the true meaning of happiness. Determined to make amends, she reached out to her children and Leo, expressing her regret and desire to rebuild their relationships. Lou's health continued to decline, but he was touched by Gabriella's efforts to reconnect. He appreciated her honesty and the steps she was taking to mend their fractured family. Gabriella spent as much time as she could with Leo, helping him with his needs and supporting him emotionally. Lucy and Owen, initially resistant, began to open up to their mother. They shared their experiences and feelings, and Gabrielle listened with an open heart. The process of rebuilding trust and connection was slow, but the effort was worth it. Gabriella learned that true success was not measured by wealth or career achievements, but by the love and relationships she had once cherished. As Lou's condition worsened, Gabriella made the difficult decision to move back home permanently. She wanted to be there for her children and provide them with the support and love they needed. The transition was challenging, but Gabriella was committed to making things right. Leo passed away peacefully, surrounded by his family. His death was a profound loss, but it also marked a new beginning for Gabriella and her children. They decided to honor Leo's memory by continuing his legacy of love and dedication. Gabriella worked hard to rebuild her life and reconnect with her children. She found solace in the simple joys of family life and discovered a newfound appreciation for the things that truly mattered. The process of healing was ongoing, but Gabrielle was grateful for the opportunity to make amends and find happiness once again. Years later, Gabriella stood at the edge of the same garden where she had found the hidden box. The house resonated with the sounds of laughter and the warmth of family gatherings. Gabriella gazed at the photograph of her family, now framed and prominently displayed, and felt a profound sense of gratitude. The journey had been arduous and fraught with challenges, but it had imparted invaluable lessons about the cost of her choices and the true essence of success. She had discovered that no amount of material wealth could ever replace the love and connections she had once taken for granted. Gabriella's story had become a testament to the power of redemption and the significance of treasuring the relationships that shape our lives. As she observed her children growing and thriving, she knew that she had finally found the peace and fulfillment she had been seeking all along.